It is the second edition of ultimately the biggest marathon in the country, the FNB 2024 marathon, attracting more than 4,000 participating in various categories, such as the 21 kilometer, the 10 kilometer, and the five kilometer run. People from across the country turned out in numbers at Garden Court Hotel to participate in the Coppola run. FNB CEO Kapum Pechola has described the event as a success. We're excited about the fact that Zambians are investing in their wellness. The numbers that attended today, we had planned for 4,000 participants. In the end, we had more than 4,400 participants. This is exciting for us. This is big. Um, we do plan to continue to do this event um, over the coming years. So look out for it and please prepare. We want more winners and we want more participants. Miss Chola says the Coppola Run has grown from the 10 kilometer it started with last year to 21 kilometers and also different categories and participants have been introduced. As you would know, last year we called it the Coppola 10K because the maximum distance was 10 kilometers. This year, we introduced the 21 kilometer, which is a half marathon. Um, we also changed it a little bit. We also in increased the categories. So we now have included the differently abled, who you saw as winners today. Um, we also have children's categories. Um, for us, this is something that we do because we believe in empowering the communities where we operate. We believe in helping. We believe that help changes everything. That's what FNB is about. And Kitwe Mayor Mpasa Mwaya is delighted that the number of participants from within the country and beyond has increased. I am very excited as the mayor of Kitwe. I'm very humbled that FNB chose Kitwe again, successful event last year. Uh, FNB, I'm deeply honored uh, for organizing such a very successful event. And I'm grateful that all the Zambians, including all people that have joined us here in Kitwe from outside the country, are enthusiastic about sport. Uh, we understand fully that it is for our own benefit, and we are glad that FNB, you are championing the wellness in us as people. Minister of Youth, Sports and Arts, Elvis Nkandu was the guest of honor at this year's event. The minister applauded FNB for including people with disabilities in the 2024 FNB Coppola Run. I am particularly happy to see the inclusion of people with disabilities. I was very excited when I walked with those children and elderly people with disabilities from teeth those that are coming from the communities and other schools on the Copper Belt, included in this event. Truly, this is the Zambia we want. And obviously, to FNB, we should say, well done. And to us as government, we shall continue to support such efforts. Nkando has since urged FNB to work closely with the tourism sector seeing that the event attracted a number of foreign participants. I urge FNB Zambia and the other sponsors to work closely with the Minister of Tourism to also ensure that every sport event we host as a nation should have a tourism package. This will not only promote sport development but also support the growth of the tourism sector in Zambia. And the participants shared their experiences has been has given me motivated and it has showed that me as persons with a disability we are being included in these programs so i just want to say thank you um i it's, it feels good because this is my first time participating uh, in a marathon like this uh, so it's uh, it's an achievement to me Kosten chiamba the overall winner of the fnb 21 kilometer challenge was with one hour and five seconds on the clock the FNB Coppola Run attracted 4,400 participants with categories including the young and the old, differently abled persons, local and foreign-based participants, leaving no one behind. Sezuni Nasinda, reporting for Focus in Kitwe. <laughs>